when I'm doing a picture and I've got the story and I don't know where to put it, like, you know, the background, the setting for it, I go back to a place I knew as a child and I remember the room, I draw in the furniture and the room and then put the story in there. Paul Arrego painting goes to places of psychic and emotional experience that have really been off limits. The permission she gave to enter these areas, it was a flinging open of the barricades. It's terribly important to have what I call a story and the, the transformations that it goes through are colossal. You take most enormous uh, risks. It's produced a body of work over 50 years, which stands right up with the best things that people have done. She'll have a huge, lasting legacy. I think that if you do pictures, they are about what's inside you as much as what's outside you, but that you've got secrets and stories that you want to put out there in the pictures. My mother has always been a bit of a mystery to me, not only as an artist, but also as a mum, secretive and guarded. Then, unexpectedly, after her 80th birthday, she started telling me stories I'd never heard before. So, I asked her if she'd make a film about her experiences, the struggles that turned her into one of our most important artists. And to my surprise, she agreed. <laughs> 